Welcome to update 3.5 of the Stream Deck MIDI plugin. This is a large update with many internal changes to the plugin. To keep this video reasonably short, I will highlight some of the most important features, but to get the full list you could either pause the video right now or visit the version history page on the website. OK, let's start with the control change button, which is now a control change slash an RPN button with an RPN support. In the command selection box, you can select an RPN. And when you do, you need to define which an RPN control you want to use and the value. And for both the control and value, the max value is 16,383. Apart from that difference, everything else is the same for the button, regardless of if you use control change or an RPN. The script button has a larger text area for the script, and it is resizable. And the script button has support for an RPN as well. I have a very simple script for control change. And if I want to use an RPN instead, I simply change CC for an RPN. Let's move on to the dials. One new feature for all dials is that you can compress and expand the sections by clicking the section header. As for the control change button, an RPN is available for the generic MIDI dial. Another new feature for all dials is a screen tap action that has the same options as the dial press action. As before, you can have an icon displayed for the press action to the left, and now you can have an icon displayed for the screen tap action to the right. When I press the left half of the screen space, I trigger the press action, and when I press the right half of the screen space, I trigger the screen tap action. Another new feature is that you can show large icons, in which case the icons fill the complete screen space for the dial, and when you rotate the dial, the screen will temporarily switch back to the default view. In the editor, the selected icons are displayed on the selection buttons, so it's easy to see which icons are selected. The Mackie control dial has the same new features as the generic MIDI dial, with one additional new feature that you can display the mute states for the channel using the fader graphics. And you can select to display the mute state. And what you can always do is to colorize the handle, uh, for instance red, when the channel is muted. So if I mute the channel, you will have a red handle. If the selected design is prepared with specific background and handle images to be used when the channel is muted, you have the options to select those. In this design, the center line is red and there is a red cross in the handle when the channel is muted. If you are making your own designs, you are of course free to do whatever you like with the background and the handle when the channel is muted. The multimedia dial has the same new features as the generic media dial, except the large icons option. Both the press action and the screen tap action can have associated icons, but they are only displayed momentarily when I trigger the action. So if I press the dial, I will have the mute icon displayed momentarily. And if I tap the top third of the screen space for the item, I will trigger the screen tap action. If I tap the item below the top third on the screen, I will only select the item, not trigger the screen tap action. The last new feature for the multimedia dial is an option to have visual feedback for 
the rotate while pressed action. You can select to have it temporarily borrow the graphics for the rotate action. So if I rotate while pressed, it will show the control associated with the rotate while pressed action. And when I let go of the dial, it will switch back to the rotate action control. Another option is to have a horizontal bar across the complete space for the dial. So when I rotate while pressed, I will have a bar across the complete space. And when I let go of the dial, the original display is returned. And finally, the multi Mackey dial is a combination of all the above. So I won't tire you with repeating all that uh, one more time. That's all for this update. Thanks for watching.